What's going on everybody? It's Zach Mayo here and today we are making a piano loop. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out lizardrecords.net. Now today we're gonna be making one in this in 168 BPM, and we're gonna be using this contact piano. Right here. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna build some basic chords. Pitch this down five. Put on the key, just like that. Make some bass notes and even down more just turn on the velocity i want to strum chords and i'm going to throw some melody within them just by cutting up the chords like that duplicate that over now we're just going to create a little top line with this and then we're going to start adding some other layers Actually, just going to duplicate that top line over and then randomize the velocities a little bit and just like that we kind of have the basic piano next i have a synth bass in here preloaded that i use a lot of my loops so we're just going to go ahead and take that play that turn that down a bit Next, we're going to try to find like a nice sound in Electra X that we can use. I like this chill pad, that'll work. I want something that I can use to just kind of make this sound a bit more full. that now i want to find like one really cool sound in omnisphere to add just to give this loop a bit more character i've been trying to do this where you know you find sounds that are just a little more different so we're gonna go into retro land like that really just play a simple melody like this. Minimize the velocity. Alright, let's go ahead and start mixing this. I'm gonna throw some reverb on this piano. Throw a fruity compressor to give this more gain. We'll turn it down. This bass already has the distortion on it that I like. Onto this pad. A bit of fruity phaser with a good old preset on there and just turn this down to like 70 percent on this sound a cut or something like that just kind of filter it a little bit throw a little distortion but just like a tiny little bit Then we're going to go ahead and render out these parts and get started on the arrangement here. So let's just go ahead, render these out. And intro with everything, everything minus the baseline, minus the distorted key, minus the pad, and everything solo, and then the stems at the end of the sample. And that right there is how you create a piano loop with some characters. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out ElizabethRecords.net. Head on over to ElizabethRecords.net if you'd like to support me. You can purchase VST expansion banks, drum kits, loop kits, and mini kits that'll level up your production there.